Hello everyone and welcome to episode 107 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. Before I get into today's episode, I just want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode. It reached almost 100 views, so that's absolutely amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and of course asking questions, leaving likes, all that support. I just, I appreciate you guys. But for this episode, I got nine questions, which is absolutely amazing. So let's get straight into it, starting with Mne, and he says, ASA, what do you think of the new Avengers Tower? To be completely honest with you, I've never really been a huge fan of Lego Marvel. I've always kind of thought Lego Marvel was just kind of mid at best. Like, I don't think it's like horrible, but I've never thought like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. But I will say the Avengers Tower, that is beautiful. It is a very nice looking build. It's very clean, very just pretty. It's it's nice. It's, it's like eye candy, you know, it's nice to look at. I'm not going to buy one, but it's nice and I think it's cool. So so like I actually for once in my life, this is probably the first time think that's a nice looking Lego Marvel set. I still don't really care for Lego Marvel, but I do think the Avengers Tower is very nice. Next question is also from Mne and he says, ASA, have you seen Invincible Season 2? I watched the first two episodes. I kind of haven't had a whole lot of time lately with like Thanksgiving and stuff. Now that that's over though, I'll hopefully be able to get back to normal soon. But I haven't had a whole lot of time to watch it yet, so I've only seen the first two episodes. I loved Invincible Season 1 and Season 2 is just as good so far. There's already a lot of like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next kind of moments and it's just really cool to see. I'm loving Invincible Season 2. I gotta go watch the next episode. I think like there might be like even now two episodes to watch but it's fantastic and if you haven't seen it, go watch Season 1 and then go watch Season 2. It's amazing. It is rated R though so be cautious. And if you still think you can stop us, don't forget, I'm Invincible. Next question is from EK Starlord and he says, ASA, what is your thoughts on the Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige becoming the new president of Lucasfilm? To be completely honest with you, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I haven't heard any news on this, but if this is true, I'll take anything I can get. If there's one thing I've learned on the internet is Kathleen Kennedy is bad. Disney and Kathleen Kennedy are gonna get ya! <laughs> Next question is also from EK Starlord and he says, ASA, what Lego Star Wars set do you want Lego to remake the most? That's a fantastic question because there's like a hundred sets that I could come up with that I want Lego to remake the most, but the thing that I have on like the top of my agenda, the top of my list, the thing that I want Lego to make the most is another Star Destroyer playset. I really love the Star Destroyer playset from 2014. I'm thinking about getting one, but I also kind of don't want to spend $500 on an old set that was once like a hundred dollars. So if Lego would just make a new one that would be fantastic because then I could have one and it would most likely be as good or possibly better so it's like come on Lego what are you waiting for so please Lego make it happen that's what I want that's on the top of my list and that's what I'm gonna keep saying until we get one I need Next question is from Brick Collection one and he says ASA are you going to get the Venator you know what yes I am wait a minute Wait a minute! Oh. Okay, never mind, I take that back. I have the money, so it's not like, oh my gosh, I can't afford it. I don't want to spend that much money on a single Lego set. I'm sure I would love it, but also, I keep bringing up the, the argument that I literally would not have anywhere to store it because my room's not big enough for it. Like, I would have to put it somewhere else in the house and I don't think my family would be okay with that. And I would have to put it in like a glass case or something, which would probably be like another $200 at least because I wouldn't want to dust that thing every single day and I would want to keep it nice, you know. Someday maybe I'll get it, but I don't think I'm going to, which breaks my heart to say, but I also kind of don't really care that much. I'm much more of an Imperial fan. I never got the UCS Star Destroyer and life goes on, right? So it's not the end of the world. Yes, it is. Next question is from TG Collects and he says, ASA, what are your opinions on Loki season two? And do you think it's better than season one? I think that season one and season two were both equally as good because in my opinion, when I look at Loki, season two kind of, you know, takes place immediately after season one. So it's like a continuation story. It's not like, years later and here's a new story with a new bad guy and so I like both seasons equally. Now 
Now, I'm not going to go into detail of each episode or anything and spoil anything, so you don't have to worry about that. But I loved Season 2. I thought it was phenomenal. The CGI actually looked good, like, 90% of the time, which was fantastic. The characters were great. The acting was great. Everything was just great. I loved it. It was fantastic. Loki is probably my second favorite, like, TV series, if you will, on Disney Plus from Marvel. Moon Knight is my first favorite, but, like, Loki Season 1 and 2 are fantastic as well. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Next question is from Plorpis ASA. Have you tried potato candy? To be completely and 100% honest with you, I had no idea if that was even a thing, so I looked it up, and I gotta say, it doesn't actually look too horrible. It looks kind of like a cinnamon roll, so I'm like, it might be good. I've never tried one, but I would be down to try one. I'm like, that doesn't look half bad, so yeah. I love how you just keep trying to come up with, like, the most random potato-related questions, because potatoes are cool. <laughs> And our last two questions are from E.K. Starlord, and he says, ASA, if you were to change anything about the Star Wars sequel trilogy, what would it be? I mean, can I change the fact that they exist? Because if I could do that, and they just didn't exist anymore, and like no one had any memory of them existing or anything, that would be kind of cool, and I think I would be doing the world a favor. But I don't think I can do that. So I'll pick something slightly smaller, but still big. The thing that I think bugs me the absolute worst was the cash cow, if you will, of bringing back Palpatine just so you could say, hey, here's a villain that you know and love, and we got to destroy him again. It, it made no sense at all. They didn't even know how to bring him back. They just said somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow Palpatine returned. That doesn't make an ounce of sense. If I could change one thing from the sequel trilogy, it would be that Palpatine is still dead and that Snoke or someone else is the main villain, but not Palpatine. That just, it made no sense. It's just stupid. It's like, why would you bring Palpatine back? They only did it because clearly they didn't know what else to do with themselves. So I wish they didn't bring Palpatine back. That's what I would change. And the last question from E.K. Starlord. ASA, do you think we will see Abeloth? I'm not sure if I said that right. And Ahsoka season two. I could be wrong. It would be kind of cool to see it. You know, a lot of people speculate that that's like what Balin is going to find that like power or whatever he's looking for is her. She's like the mother of the force people. I can't remember what they're called. You know, the father and the son and the daughter. It's possible. It's like, well, what about the mother? And is that that she's the mother? But I don't really think so. I don't see that happening. I don't think that they're going to ever bring that character into canon and make her real. But if I'm wrong, I guess that'd be kind of cool so we'll see but that's all the questions for this episode of asa so thank you all very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it helps out a lot consider subscribing if you're not i don't usually ask for that and i don't like to but if you're not and you like the content then consider doing so it'd help out a lot thank you for watching i know i already said that have a wonderful day and if you have a question or two for the next episode leave it down below and i'll answer it in the next episode have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time goodbye also, where are my potatoes? Nobody gave me a potato today. Sad.